my first grade. We're going to review some more words today, so get out your paper and pencil and get ready to write. Our first phonogram is oo What's your phonogram? Good. oo Now, say it while you write it. If you don't remember, just draw a line below the baseline and then you can write it in after I write it up. All right, this is oo All right, our next phonogram is ow o oo What are you going to write? Good. ow o oo Now, say it while you write it. All right, this is our ow o oo All right, these are the only two letter phonograms we have in our words today, so let's just jump on in. Let's see. Our first word is insect. What's the word? Good. An insect has six legs and three body parts. Insect. How many syllables are in the word insect? Show me. Good. There are two syllables in insect. The first syllable is in. What's the first syllable? What are we going to write to spell in? Good. One more time. In. Mm. All right. Write that first syllable with your syllable mark. All right. Our second syllable is sect. What's our second syllable? That one's kind of tricky. We've got to listen carefully, sect, because we want to get all of our sounds in there. What sounds do we hear in the syllable sect? Good. One more time. S-e-k-t. Good. Write that second syllable and say the sounds while you write them. Right, put your pencil down when you're finished. Right, put your finger under the first phonogram in insect so you can tell me how to write it. Parents, if you need to pause the video for your child to finish, go ahead and do that. All right, what do we need to write to spell insect? Good. Make sure yours looks like mine. Let's go ahead and see. Is there anything in our word that we need to mark? No. There's nothing we need to mark. So let's just say the sounds and put them together. Good. All right. Our next word is lake. What's the word? Good. I went to swim in the lake. Now, what sounds do we hear in the word lake? Good. The sounds that we hear are o, a, k, but this a is a, a, a. What's going to make our a, a, a say a in the word lake? Good, we need a silent final E job one. But since we have this silent final E here after our K, that means we're going to have to use which K? Good, we have to use line letter K. If we use K, it would say S because C followed by E, I, or Y says S. So if we use K, our word would be lace. Now, lace is a nice word, but it's not what we want to write. So to write lake, one more time, tell me what we need to write. Which k? Good, line letter k. And don't forget. Good, write those sounds in lake and say them while you write them. All 
All right, put your finger under the first phonogram in lake. Tell me what I need to write to spell it. Good. Make sure yours looks like mine. All right, and let's mark it. Does this need a marking? How about this? Good, we underline our at a a because it's saying it's, right, because it's saying its name. Does this need a marking? Good, we always underline the consonant that goes between our vowel and our silent final e job one. And does this need a marking? Good, we double underline our silent final e job one. Let's say the sounds and put them together. Good. All right, our next word is floor. What's the word? Good. I have to sweep the floor because it's dirty. Floor. Now floor is a two-way word. To spell floor, we have to say fluor. Fluor. How do we say floor to spell it? Good. Fluor. Now, what sounds do we hear in the word fluor? Good. One more time. Fl, oo, brr. Our oo is oo, uh. Which oo are we going to use? Good. Oo, uh. Write the sounds that you hear in fluor and say them while you write them. All right, put your finger under the first phonogram in fluor. What does it say? Which oo? Good, oo, oo. All right, make sure your fluor looks like mine. Let's mark it. Does it need a marking? Good, we underline our oo, uh. Does this need a marking? All right, we'll say our sounds and put them together. Good, to spell the word, we have to say fluor. When we're speaking though, we say floor. All right, so which phonogram is going to get our thinking cap? Good, our oo, uh. So the word floor class, how do we say it to spell it? Good, fluor. All right, the next word is house. What's the word? Good, my mother's house is in Washington, house. What sounds do we hear in the word house? Good, the sounds we hear in house are h, ow, s. All right, our ow is ow, o, u, o. Which ow do we use in house? Good, ow, o, u, o. But there's something else we have to add because we have a noun that ends with an s. We wanna make sure people know that doesn't mean it's plural. So what are we going to add? Good, we have to add a silent final E. This is our job five. It lets us know the S doesn't mean it's plural. So one more time before we write it, what do we need to write to spell house? Which owl? Good, owl, o, o, a. And good, our silent final E. So write the sounds in house and say them while you write them. All right, put your finger under the first phonogram in house. What do we, what do I need to write to spell it? Which owl? Good, owl, o, u, a.
Am I finished? No, what do I have to add? Good, silent final E, job five. Make sure yours looks like this. All right, let's mark it. Does it need a marking? Good, we underline our ow, o, oh, ooh, uh. Does this need a marking? Good, anytime there's a letter that goes with a silent final E, we underline it. And does this need a marking? Good, we double underline our silent final E, job five. We'll say our sounds and put them together. Good, all right, our last word is table. What's the word? I did my homework on the table, table. How many syllables are in table? Show me. Good, there are two syllables in the word table. The first syllable is te. What's the first syllable? Good, what sounds do we hear in the syllable te? Good, now our a is a a a. What lets our a a a say its name? Good, it's an open syllable. Or our rule we can say is a, e, o, and u. Usually say a, e, o, u, or u at the end of a syllable. But our vowel can say its name because it's at the end of a syllable. So te is our first syllable. Let's remember that and try and write the whole word all together. The second syllable is bowl. What's the second syllable? Good. What sounds do we hear in the syllable bowl? Good, our sounds in the second syllable are b, u, but something's wrong with our syllable. Every English syllable must have a what? Good, a vowel. Is there a vowel in b? There's no vowel, so what do we have to add? Good, we're going to add a silent final e, and that is our job four. So one more time before we write table, what do we need to write to spell it? Good, and that's a a a. And you can't forget, good, your silent final E, job four. Write those sounds in table and say them while you write them. All right, put your pencil down when you're finished and get ready to tell me what I need to write to spell table. What do I need to write to spell table? Good, that A is A, A, A. What lets it say its name? Good, it's an open syllable. Now that looks wrong. What do we need? Good, we need our silent final E, job four. Make sure your table looks like mine. All right, and let's mark it. Does this need a marking? How about this? Good, we always underline a vowel that's saying its name. Does this need a marking? Good, we double underline our silent final E job four. Every English syllable must have a vowel. All right, we'll say our sounds and put them together. All right, those were our words for today. So get ready to write a sentence. I'm going to give you a sentence in just a minute. Before you start though, remember the five parts of a complete sentence. It starts with what kind of letter? Good, a capital letter. And what does it end with? Good, an end mark. And if you write all the words that I say, go back and check after you've written, make sure you wrote all the words that I said. If I'm giving you the sentence and you write everything I say, then you know, you'll know it has a subject and a predicate and it makes sense. All right, so that's a lot to remember, but we're gonna practice every day. All right, our sentence is, I see an insect on the floor. 
All right, make a picture of it in your mind so you can remember it. I see an insect on the floor. What's our sentence? Good, all right, write that sentence, then go back and check. Make sure it has all of the five parts of a complete sentence. All right, bye.